Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and we are back in Kuthra. But uh, we are on our way out as we need to... Um, well, we need to talk to the merchant first uh, and get some ingredients for the ailment here in town. But afterwards, I think we will need to leave. Just take Let your time. A moment. Hezra sent you. Let me see the list. Yes, you're in luck. I happen to have everything he wants. Well, everything except this mushroom here. That you'll have to find on your own. I believe it grows in the ruins in the hill east of here, near the Magda Corbu. That is uh, the temple, right? Yeah. Well, close to the temple. So at least I was uh, right on my assumption that we would be going there soon. And that would also uh, give me the chance, the, the perfect opportunity to um, advance the epic as well. So we'll see how that goes. The Magda Corvo, that is the old uh, temple of, of, of Sauron, right? If I understood correctly. And I hope I have. Okay. So this is the way down. I just want to take a look to what will we find in here. Seems to be, no. This, this is not a way to, to the temple, no. This is just the way to another dock. Which I think at some point then we'll we'll need to come here and and visit. This is another little village. Yeah. Another little village. No idea. Well we'll need to do with this one yet. This is, of course, not the way. Okay. We'll see. This seems to be the area where the mushrooms are. Very close, at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Six. We'll need to fight this guy, right? Let's get this over with then. Thank you. The other three would be on the southern part, and and then we'll need to go fight the dead. Is that white or is that shades? That that's the question. But as we saw on the shield isles, I think I mentioned that to you. Someone on on Reddit or the forums, I don't know where, that said, could we please have at least one region of the game without whites or without uh, the dead? <laughs> and. Uh, no, no, we can't, it seems.
as long as they don't have their own Slayer deed, like what happened in, in Eastern King's Gondor, you remember that the only reasonable place to to farm that deed is on what one uh, that one uh, ruin to the south of Ling here. God, I forgot the name now. But you remember that one, right? It's the only reasonable place where you can find the dead for you to advance that deed. And the good thing about, about East King's Condor is that at least those layer deeds that you need to do don't require a lot of uh, a lot of enemies to be defeated, so it can be done quite easily. But the Lotro team do does do that every once in a while. They would introduce a Slayer Deed when you are just about to finish one region. And then you realize it's far from over. I'm still really curious about this, this entire uh, ruined temple here and everything, so... Oh yeah, it's white. We were really close, right? As long as... Yeah, I knew it. That Slayer of the Keep of Umbar. How many? 90. So even more. You need to defeat a lot of them. More than almost every other deed in this area. As I was saying... Persia mood. Okay. As I was saying, as long as this uh, side quest for the salt doesn't uh, have us come back here... I think we we would be would be better if we if we advance the main quest now that we're here. They do love to spew on you. Not so bad. Now this definitely should be a location to find one of the treasure caches. I've been doing terribly, terribly bad with them. But I hope I, I, I can still get at least a couple more. <laughs> oh, inspectors as well. All right. So there's both. Whites and shades. And I just forgot that I've been trying to practice a new rotation where I would apply all my devops as, as fast as I can. Because that seems to help with DPS more than applying a lot of dots. I mean, you still need to apply the, the precise blow line and the worker line, so you still have some dots in there helping you out. But applying all the other defobs certainly help. Umbar Baharbal, the city of Corsairs, Kalatirion, Beacon Tower of Elendil. Okay, so this is this Cantus part of the city, is that what it is? Beacon Tower of Elendil. Because we, we have already these uh, havens of Umbar Baharbal that seems to be just. The taverns inside the city? Whoa, 21 taverns. That tells you how, how big of a city this would be because I think Minas Tirith has like, what, 10? 15? I mean, certainly not 21. 
Um, we got the first one way back when we were uh, listening to, to Yajak's story. What happened when he and Daxamat returned to Umbar. And... Uh, so yeah, we, we already have that deed opened. Talk to Sirgun outside the ruined temple of Sauron. Oh no! It's 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 over there. So this one, the Beacon Tower of Elendil, well, of course the name kinda gives it away, but it's it's something else. Now I really want to see what that beacon tower is about. I mean, I, I don't remember too much about uh, the unfinished tales or the appendices, but well, Umbar was originally part of of the kingdom of Gondor. But does that mean is this where where Elendil maybe initially landed after the fall of Numenor? Because it it checks out. Numenor was to the southwest of Middle-earth, so it would have been closer to Umbar than uh, Osgiliath, for example, where the locations where those cities would eventually be settled. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if, if it's uh, a big memory or just wishful thinking, but I seem to remember on either the Unfinished Tales or the Appendices, it said that Elendil and, and his people had initially landed on, on the lands that would later become Umbar. Seems to be. Now, it's a little bit disappointing. I don't see the entrance to this tower. I would love to get to the top of this tower, but at least from here, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. I am so curious now. You have discovered Kalatiri in the Beacon Tower, which was raised by King Elendil to celebrate his victory over Sauron. However, the tower would not stand forever, for the Dark Lord's servants were not gone and they would return in a later age. At the command of the Forsaken River, one of the Nazgul, the Kalatirian was toppled. The day of its downfall came to be called the Death of Light, and the horror of, its, of it is remembered still by the oldest residents of the city. It was raised uh, Elendil's victory over Sauron. Oh, okay, but it was not raised by Elendil himself? No, it was raised by Elendil. So, are you mean, do you mean when... when the Great Alliance, uh, the Last Alliance, uh, destroyed the... the... Gate to Mordor, the, the Black Gate, or... Or do you mean um, a different victory? Now I have more questions than answers. Once again, if you have a better memory of the appendices or the unfinished tales than I do, please, please refresh my memory on this one. I had thought to help the people of Kutra with their difficulties. But as I approached the temple, I could not bring myself any nearer than this. Thank you for helping them combat these evils. Seer Gun sighs heavily, a sound you have become accustomed to ever since the man who has once the Lord of Leavening came ashore upon the Shield Isles. I quail at the sight of the dead, Brethren, but there is something I fear even more than such as they, and it is a fear that takes the shape of a man. I fear that meeting with the Lord that surely awaits me in the city ahead. I fear what he will have to say to me, but worst of all, I fear that I may deserve it. The steward Denethor gave me the command to bring the Lord to justice, but I did not refuse it. When I believed I drove him to his death, I felt the shame and the guilt of that pursuit, but to learn that he rose from the waves, that he survived. My shame and my guilt are doubled. Nay, they are trebled. And now he is one of those who leads the kindred of the coins against Gondor. I am sorry, I will pull myself together, I will be fine. You say Legolas intended to visit the wreckage of a tower? I believe that is Kalatirion on the hill of Karnarax to the southwest. Please tell me Legolas is gonna refresh my mind on this one. Ah, uh, because I would love to. Now, of course, this confrontation between uh, Sirgon and Belondor, it's building up to something, but this also served as a nice reminder for those people who might have forgotten what, what Sirgon told us back in the Shield Isles. It's been a while. And uh, the Lord of Team usually does this kind of, of uh, reminders as well. Now, where is Legolas? I see the ring over there. 
Atop its hill, the Tower of Calatirion has tumbled into several pieces. But it's still majestic. Still an amazing view. But yeah, here we are, Legolas. This was the Beacon Tower of Calatirion, constructed by Elendil as a mighty monument of Numenor. I have heard tales from Glorfindel of the Vandazar that stood within it for much of its history. Idesar, as clear as crystal, shining so brightly it could be seen even from far off in the bay. I know it was destroyed by the Bright Company to loosen Sauron's bonds upon the men of Harad, of Harad during the War of the Great Alliance. The tower itself survived that battle and would stand for almost 3,000 more years, but it would not stand forever. Okay, okay, so it's part of Lotro's extended lore, I see. Uh, okay, so, so let me uh, try to remember a little bit because, yeah, um, I do remember the tale of the Bright Company. I do remember one of the Bandasari was destroyed before Isildur's tale began, so it seems as this one. Um, what else? The tower itself survived the battle and would stand for almost 3,000 more years, but it would not stand forever. When the Church of the Old Scene came to Umbar in the vanguard of the Emperor of Ordak, there were servants of that church who resented that which Calatirion represented. They were the Nazgul with the Forsaken River at their head. With sorcery, he and his allies toppled the tower, and the memory of that day has lived on in whisper ever since. Even Glorfindel wished not to speak of it, but he told me the name by which folk of Umbar recalled that day, Mut Taral, the Death of Light. The Forsaken River must have perished with his master when Frodo cast the ring into the crux of Doom, Beriathan, but Calatirion remains toppled. It is a reminder to me that evil deeds are not undone by the destruction of those who wrought them. We should continue to the east and then north along the road. We have almost reached the city. Alright, yeah, so it seems we were running a little bit ahead of ourselves. As the epic is now sending us to the city of Umbar, but we still have a, a couple of things left to do in here. Now, is my milestone in Kuthra? Thank you. I, I, I much rather do that now. I don't feel like <laughs> running back. At least not, not not today. I'm not in the mood for that. I really want to get to Umbar now. We are so close. Gamin with the tide. Ah, excellent quality lavender as well. Thank you. Just a moment as I finish this. There. Three new salves. I admit these are a bit of a step in the dark, but we don't have much to go on, do we? Will you give each of these salves to some of the local afflicted animals? If any of them improve, it could be a vital clue for us in fighting this dreadful disease. Alright, so we are using goats. Our skip goats. Uh, is that... Is that the reason why these are goats and not any other herd animal? Could be. <laughs> Administer third experimental solve. Okay. Second, and here we go with the first one. Even though we did them I mean, in reverse order. Do you have need of something? Which one? The goat got better. The last salve. The calendula, of course. I know where this blight is coming from. Rojat, I know where the disease is coming from. Very nice touch in there, having the NPC actually walk in. Is the honeywort glade past the Magta Corvo? All the diseased animals have honeywort in their stomachs. It's dead. They must be causing this disease. We went in pursuit of the honeyward, we just didn't go far enough. That is in the middle of where the dead have set up camp. Alright, yeah, that's what I thought. That's Those were my suspicions as well. There is much to be done, and fewer hands by which to do it. Stranger, you say you wanted to aid us. If ever an oath was to be uttered, now is the time. If you are who you say you are and you can help us, your name will be sung through the halls of Kuthra long after you've passed through here. 
Will you help us? Will you help us heal Kuthra? Do you have need of something? The terrible disease must be coming from the ruins of the Magda Corvo. Go to the hill east of here, to the ruins. The air there is thick with malevolence and the dead roam free. I am sure that this must be source, the source of all of our travel. Please investigate the ruins, find and seal up the source of this malady. There we go. Back to where we were. And as I was saying, a very nice touch that um, Roshad actually walked in instead of appearing out of nowhere. And oh, there are a couple more quests. Okay. What news has come in with the tide? It is fortunate that you are going out near the Magda Corvo. The dead have been getting more plentiful by the day. They are harrowing our merchants and folk passing to Umbar. If you could call some of their number, you would have my thanks. White spirits and decayed. Like the arm that was pursuing us before. Do you have need of something? You seem uniquely equipped for a task that requires some uh, delicacy. The Yashalan family lost something years ago that was taken to the Magda Corbo. We have reason to believe this family heirloom, a necklace, is still there in the ruins. Unfortunately for us, the dead are more at home than the living in the Magda Corbo. If you could retrieve this item for us, there would be a handsome reward for you. Not a word to anyone, though. Any rumors that leak out about the Yashalams or this necklace would displease the Lady Yashalam. Okay. Any other questing here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, yeah. So, it is as I feared. We should have come back to the town as soon as we got the mushrooms. And this one would have given us the chance of advancing the side quest alongside the epic, but if I'm reading this correctly, we would still need to come back to Kuthra after doing this. So... Anyway, you look at it. You still need to backtrack. Seems... Seems that's what's happening right now. And we still have this other village that doesn't seem to have anything going on with it right now. I don't know. I I'm, I'm getting to. I'm starting to get a little bit uh, suspicious of all this, a little bit cautious. So I might need to. To visit the Lotro Companion once again. It's been so helpful that again I am a little um, regretful of, of not using it before. It's just that ah, the first time I tried to use it, I, I really didn't. Uh, it wasn't that intuitive for me the first time I, I did install it. And I was just using it that time around for gear planning, uh, importing my character. And, and there you could see uh, which gear you had equipped and, and you, ca you could use the database in the plugin to do some theory crafting. And that's what I thought everybody else was using it for. But that was not the case. Again, I misclicked. Something tells me I will miss. I might miss my strength of morale later. Okay. Okay, 
there we go. Well, we, we seem to be doing good so far. Let's see if we can climb through here. <laughs> uh, some sort of, of uh, shortcut, if you will. We need to defeat a lot of whites, don't we? There's a lot of artifact chests in here. I'm not sure how many of those do we need to, to complete our crafting. Our uh, Umbari crafting. But it never hurts to have more of them. Especially to craft uh, potions. You would see that I've taken out the old Kundavat and Moralam power pots from my from my quick slot bars. I do take the time to sort out my inventory a little bit. Not not thoroughly, not yet. But enough for me to free up some space and remove all old gear pieces that I know for a fact that I won't be using because they are not they don't seem better to me than what I already had and that goes for both my DPS and tanking gears um, so yeah it wasn't that much but I really needed the, the backspace so it, it did help and as soon as I hit a level cap and start gearing properly then I will take another pass at this. Suspicious area. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. What is this? Okay, there we go. Cracked stones, what is this? This, this uh, new rotation might work a little bit better. Just need to, to improve it a little bit more. Tilda Stone Zipping Noxious Blight. Sure. Nothing else in here that you want to give me? A cash? Maybe. Ah, the necklace. Over there, okay. This is the last spirit I need to defeat. Oh, 
Okay. Decayed arm. Sure. Well, that was fast. Just need three more whites. Okay. You can do it. Never ruby necklace. We're really close. Take care of this guy first. Have it, my muscle memory betrayed me there. Here is white number one. Here is the other one. As I suspected, we still need to go back to Kuthra yet again. At least we have... Um, yeah, girl, if at least we have our milestone there. There is no reason why we shouldn't use it. Yeah, bear with me, bear with me. We are already here. We'll see is if this uh, solves the villagers' problems. But I think these problems are way bigger than this. Do you have need of something? Thank you for retrieving this. It is pl priceless to the Yashalan family. If anyone asks, nothing was found in the ruins and we never asked for this. I'm sure you understand. A curse? No, I think not. To commune with the dead is a privilege, not a curse. And one my family has not had in far too long. Oh boy. What did we do? Do you have need of something? You have my things again. There was a rising tide of dead washing close to Kutra. Because of you, my people can walk the pathways around Kutra without fear. Oh no, don't do this, please. Oh, come on, buddy, please move. Thank you. Starting to panic there. What news has come in with the tide? The blight is sealed. That is welcome news indeed. That will drive the source of evil coming into Kuthra. Now we just need to heal Kuthra's afflicted. Hurry, we have not a moment to lose. Do you have need of something? The last salt proved the key. Can you help me gather enough ingredients that we may heal our fish, our animals, and our people? We need large quantities of calendula and delphinium. I have the other ingredients here. I happen to know the local merchant Tiriha has large quantities dried. Yeah, the blight might have been stopped, but not definitely. 
I mean, it, it would be too much to ask of, of just mere villagers in here, but the better solution for this is just going underground, uh, looking for the source, the actual source of this light, and, and defeating it, but we are in a hurry, so I guess we cannot do that right now. May you spare a moment? Keshra has found a cure? That is joyous news indeed. Here, take all the ingredients you need with my blessing. No, no, keep your coin. It's bad business to make a profit off of any of this suffering. Okay. Well. Yeah, this seems to be just a temporary solution. Uh, I, I will count this as an open threat that might be solved later. What news has come in with the tide? Ah yes, fine quality as usual. Just a moment, let me add this to what I already have. Here, take this. Please, our afflicted are below here on the rocks just outside the village. Not a moment to spare. Give it some of the salve and they should be back on their way to good health. I insist. This helps, but you need a more definite solution. to Heshra yet again. How many times have we have we talked to him in between the previous episode and this one? I, I've lost count. Because the the salt portion of the quest line had three parts. Now we are healing Kutra and this is also a multiple part thing. How many times have we done this? Might you spare a moment? I can't thank you enough for what you have done here. Please, take what is left and go see Elder Elia. She oversees all our livestock. I'm sure she would appreciate some help tending to the afflicted animals. And then I guess we'll need to talk to other Elder for, for the fish. You have a cure from, from Hishra. It's about time. Our animals are suffering just as much as our people, and between you and I, I prefer the company of the goats. Please, help the afflicted goats and pigs here on their way back to good health. Okay, goats and pigs. Oh, how many pigs? Five of them? Despondent pig. Boisterous pig. I mean, they all look the same to me. Solemn. Glum. Skimming. This is pig. Okay. A happy? This continues the tradition I, that, that we saw in King's Gondor of giving so much personality to the animals that it really wasn't that needed. There is much to be done and fewer hands by which to do it. Thank you. It warms my heart to see the animals ramping full of energy again. Seems you're running low on that salt. You should see if Hezra has made any more and then go see Omaris. What news has come in with the day? Now that we have a salt for these animals, our important work can begin in earnest. It is important that we heal any nearby deceased prey animals. Healing the wild goats in the hills north of Kutra will ensure that if any predator should eat them, this cycle of death is ended. Will you help us? Even the prey we need to help, okay. What news has come in with the death? You need more? What a welcome problem. Yes, I've been quite busy. For the fish, you'll need lots. Here, take what I have. I'm making more of as fast as I can. You'll want to see what is next, I expect. Yep, just as I thought. There were three parts for creating the salve, so there would be three parts for healing Kutra. Um, and as we have seen, we also need to, to heal the, 
wild goats. So we're far from done. Might you spare a moment? That foul smelling mixture is a cure. As you say, here, let me mark our five best fishing spots. Release the salt there and it should in time filter down into the fish. There are several spots here on the pier and then more along the beaches to the west. I still insist. You're gonna have this problem again. It would appear. Ah, oh, to the west. Sorry. It seems the Lotro team is not the only one confusing west for east and, and vice versa. My bad. I know it's just a game and I'm sitting in my. in front of my PC, not on the actual beach, but it feels so good. <laughs> Enter into the sea. I mean, you, you can almost feel it. Maybe it's just because I... I've been to, to the sea myself not that long ago. That memory is still fresh in me, but... Oh, and the, the wave and everything. It would, be, it would be really fun, if a little annoying for these kind of quests. If the waves also had some physics. To them. I would laugh if the waves had some some physics. But I don't know if the engine is able to do that. That would be that would be really nice. That would be really fun. Have need of something? Thank you. You have done much for Kuthra. We won't soon forget. I won't soon forget. Roshet is asking after you. You should see what he wants. Awesome. So we have completed quests of the Cape of Umbar. And we have the Metadeed as well. So we have completed 50 quests. Took a while, but here we are. Hero of the Cape of Umbar. You have done much to aid the denizens of the Cape of Umbar. Okay. And... Oh, Keep Cruiser, what an amazing title that is, but uh, Explorer and Slayer Deed, that will take a while. Shield Raker, no, I prefer Keep Cruiser. There is much to be done, and here are hands by which to do it. Golden Tracery? Okay. I am astounded. I misjudge you, and perhaps I misjudge the other travelers venturing through here. You are a boon to Kutra, and I wish I had seen it sooner. You must let this foolish old man set accounts right. Come, we will prepare a feast in your honor. The only thing I ask of you is to help us with the preparations. Would you mind collecting some of the food? Gladder than the road has some wheat as a start. Fair winds to you. Here, take this wheat for the feast. You collected it anyway. It is only right that it goes to the feast. Sincerely, thank you for everything you've done. Yeah, I do remember collecting that uh, wheat on on the on the previous episode. Little did I know I was uh, gathering the supplies for my own fist. That's a nice surprise to have. What news has come in with the day? Here, take all the cut off I have left. You earned it. What news has come in with the day? Here we are, the first healthy fish we've caught in a month. Take them with our thanks. You'll want to bring the ingredients to Ekmoon, the cook. He's just over there talking to City, huh? Fair winds to you! That's a welcome sight. More food than I've seen in a fair few nights. 
thanks for getting it all this. Leave it to me. I'll have everything ready before you can spit. But I, I, I don't feel... It doesn't feel right. Fisting when I still have one more quest. As I have said many times before, I don't think this is a definitive solution because this evil can still spread forth if the seals break, but we cannot expect the villagers to solve that on their own and they still need help uh, curing the wild goats. That's just what I was trying to avoid. If you want to fight, I will give you a fight. Gladly. There we go. Again. So there we go again. You please go down, thank you. The quest ring doesn't disappear from the map, but you cannot reuse the codes. <laughs> there was a quest where you could do that, right? But I don't remember which one it was. Ah, one of the quests in Rohan? In West Rohan, where you needed to... Yeah, you needed to, to gather some horses uh, that had run away. And there were supposedly different locations where the horses would be, but in reality, you could just go back to the same spot over and over again. It's not the same case in here. Please don't mind me. Five. Six. Seven. I'm still missing one. Well, thankfully they, they do disappear from the map, so at least there's that. Okay. Cool. We still have what that that other town. Seems so weird. They don't have any any more quests. Oh boy. Nasty fall over there. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That's the fist. We'll do the fist. Seems it will be a nice way to end today's episode, but first we gotta complete this what one. News has come in with the tide. You have our gratitude and that of the beasts. Nature works best when we all work together harmoniously. You are a fine example of that. Come on, you're all gonna make me blush at this point. Uh, at this rate. Come on, come on. Down to the Elder Hall. Everything's been laid out. Time to try the best food Kuthra has to offer. I'm really looking forward to it. You have healed Kuthra. Now it's time to enjoy the feast you help prepare and listen to a toast from Elder Roshat. City, huh? Uh, okay. Ah, and that's our own seat. Okay, okay. When was the last time we, we had the chance of partaking in a fist such as these. I'm inclined to say at the Bjorning Hoos in the Vales of Anduin, that's the last one I remember, but I'm not sure if I'm right. But it does seem like it. Friends? Long we have feared the outside world, and long we have suffered for it. I see that now. No more. Very often, you will find a welcome heart in Kuthra anytime you visit. A toast. 
to new beginnings and old friends and new friends that feel like old. Now pass the cotto. I need to talk to someone here. Ah, share with cheer with the elder. Okay. Well, that was it. Okay. Well, that was an easy. Well, not not technically easy, but we got a gold tracery. That's what matters. Do you have need of something? We've heard troubling rumors from Umber Baharbal about animal mistreatment. I appreciate what you did here for Kuthra's animals, so I know you understand how important our duty is to protect and respect them. Their lives are as sacred as our own. These rumors tell of a street charlatan, they call him Izzati. His words are sweet, but his deeds are dark. He parades animals around for show. He whips them until they do his tricks. Elias spits on the ground to show her displeasure. He does not understand the pact between humans and animals. He does not see them as we do. To him, they are just a means to buy coin and praise, cheap entertainment to be used and discarded. Go to Umbarba Harbel, find Gushira. She can be found in the upper ward of the city. She is like you and I, she understands animals. She is looking to expose Zori and end his crimes. You've done much to help us and the animals here. Please, find Gushira and help the animals there. They don't have much time. Okay, you remember that when we uh, were helping Ragdagoon in the Shield Isles, she well when we when we completed the quests uh we received a letter saying that there was an an a, a man in umbar that was trying to get rare animals it might be the same guy it might not but it seems we are back on track at least for now and you will remember that letter said that we should talk to tathata the beast one of the members of the kindred so that doesn't sound like a good idea to me but we'll see how it goes because we are finally headed towards umbar can you believe that now just to be safe i want to double check before we go into the city proper that there's nothing noteworthy in here i mean we have already completed the um the the quest did so it seems like we should be okay but Bekmol, Idwadar, Tahkata, Jevalaka, Hathafor, Balakad are all places that we haven't seen at all and I'm not sure if we were supposed to find them before or if we'll get more quests in the Cape of Umbar that will send us there so I can also take the time to double check that. Night is about to come down. And when I finally step into the city of Umbar, I want to do it during daytime. So I might need to wait a little bit, which is a shame because I'm really eager to go in. I'm conflicted, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. This... Oh my god. This entrance. Well, will it take us to Umbar, maybe? Maybe... It seems to be like a secret entrance into the city or something. Well, not necessarily. I don't know. I don't know. These, these villagers don't have any quests in here. So it seems that maybe the story in the Cape of Umbar will continue after we have adventured in the city a little bit. I don't know. I, I will need to double check that, but that will need to wait until the next one. For the time being, though, this has been all on today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care. Good luck to you all, and I will see you later.